I bought this PC for 60 euros containing also a monitor and a keyboard. This computer has a Pentium processor but it is a soldered mobile Braswell variant so it cannot be upgraded. It has 4 cores though and 2.4 GHz boost clock. This PC is essentially laptop hardware in a desktop. It is even powered by a 65 watt external power brick. It does have a PCI Express slot though. Since I had a 30 watt GT1030 around which turned out to be the inferior DDR4 variant, I thought I could test if this combination could make some sort of a gaming PC. So opening the PC for the first time I noticed that the CPU cooler is very small. It is literally the size of Northbridge heat sinks in some other computers. I removed the old paste and applied new thermal paste. The HDD and optical drive caddy detaches by unscrewing the screws. I want to install an SSD in addition to the HDD, so I need to get power and data cables for the additional SSD. I used an adapter to convert this slimline SATA power from the optical drive for the SSD. This will of course leave the optical drive unusable, but uh, I will make it work later via USB. I doubled the RAM capacity to 8 GB by harvesting a stick from a broken laptop. I used this slimline SATA to USB adapter and an internal USB hub to split the USB connection for the SD card slot. This way I 
get a free USB 2 header for the optical drive. Next thing is to install this full height GPU to this case which only supports low profile cards. I noticed that the case has some punch out metal pieces for additional parts. So I installed the GPU so that I could slot the DVI port in this hole. So this will leave the HDMI port unaccessible but I will use a DVI to HDMI adapter. Next I proceeded to install Windows, which didn't go without problems. After lengthy troubleshooting, I realized that the SSD was just faulty out of the box. I swapped it for another identical one and all problems went away. The power draw is 18 to 28 watts when idle and up to 46 watts under load. This is how the temperatures look under load. GPUC reports the VRAM speed as 1050 MHz and this is how I noticed it being the DDR4 version. For some reason the GPU seems to run only using two PCIe lanes. I took out the Wi-Fi adapter but this behavior didn't change. There was not any helpful BIOS options either. I plan to record gameplay with Shadowplay, but uh, the whole GeForce experience is basically unavailable with this GPU. Benchmarks reveal that the CPU is the clear bottleneck even with this DDR4-1030. Some games are playable most of 
the newer ones are not. The CPU was hitting 60 degrees in some games and I tried lowering the temps by installing a copper sim between the GPU and the heatsink. I taped around the CPU to prevent the sim from sorting anything out. I also got rid of any background processes I could. While the temps dropped, the performance didn't really improve. Some games are playable like Lego City Under Power, Minecraft and Human Fall Flat. Some are very unplayable like CSGO, Fortnite and Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Older games like Harry Potter 5 and 6 work perfectly. So the final verdict is that this CPU is not enough for most gaming and uh, with this GPU this wouldn't be a good price to performance anyway. But uh, this was an interesting thing to try and make a gaming PC out of this very low-end laptop hardware.